So his name is BJ Jojo Chakal Ingram. Decided to pretend to be black in order to get into medical school in order to prove a point. Now, first of all, uh, I guess I'll call him BJ. First of all, BJ, you don't have to pretend to be black. You actually kind of are. And you've even said this yourself in previous interviews before this came up again. I want to be very clear. Okay. I, I said I was black. Uh, there is no country called Blackistan that black people come from. Black is a color, not a race. Okay, now, I if I said wondered. I was a black Afri Af African American, you could prove that. If I said I'm okay. black, how can you prove that I'm not black? Because my skin is darker okay, than most African Americans. In case some people are wondering why folks would be upset about this or want to act like this, what he did, his complete lie and scam is, uh, is some type of fight for truth and rightness. It's not. It will be just as offensive as if I pretended, found a way to pretend to be Asian in order to teach martial arts. That, a lot of people will find that distasteful at the very least. And root. And I work in IT in my day job. What if I tried to pretend to be Asian to work in IT? Because that's a stereotype. And oh, I think they get into, uh, I think they may get jobs because they're Asian. What if I stoop to that level? That would be equally distasteful, wouldn't it? I mean, you know, my point is people are just like I said about. Um, the, the uh, singer that got caught with the person who was um, changing their identity. It's about the lie. People do not like liars. They don't like the lies. Rachel Dolezal, who I have not really been following for a while, she's having problems now because she lied about who she was. And in the martial arts community, people get mad when we lie about our ranks, our credentials, and certifications. That's why I tell my students, and I know they get tired of me saying it sometimes, because they hear me say it when I repeat it to new people that come and they just go like, oh gosh, who cares? We don't care. But I say, I have made up this style based on some other things that I've studied. So I don't want you to think that your ranks are recognized anywhere but in this room. Do you understand that? Yes, we understand that. We don't care, basically. They don't say we're okay, but they just go, yes, a billion of time. Because I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to lie to you and make you think that someone from on high came and da 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 waved their wands and gave me this rank. The rank I have in my own system is the rank I have in my own system, and the ranks I have from other people are ranks that other people gave me. And I list it, say it, accept it. But don't look at liars and act like they're proving something about affirmative action or about anything. You're not proving anything by lying. If you want to prove that affirmative action doesn't really doesn't work or is poor, you look at the outcomes in the long run and say, has it really brought you know X Y Z people into the field who are contributing? And then you would be able to prove your truth or falsehood. But lying. It just makes you look like a liar to people who, you know, are reasonable. People who already have preconceived biases, of course, don't care about that. And they're just going to use that to justify the preconceived biases. You know, you're just going to end up in a YouTube video like this where I'm just going to use your lie to get views. And as a, a uh, talking point for those of us who are in the martial arts community, you know, you don't have to lie. Don't lie. Don't try to... Make your stuff seem like it's something that it's not. Don't try to make what you do seem like it's more, you know, it's more important than it is. You know, if you straight up made your style up out of thin air, just say you straight up made your style up out of thin air. If you did. I would actually respect that. I have even met a guy who was like, ha, ah, I, I created my own thing. People say, oh, you took the, 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 no, I didn't take anything. I just watched he really just watched and watched and watched and sparred and sparred and sparred with people for about, I think he said he'd been doing that for about 10 years. He actually wasn't, he actually wasn't bad, believe it or not. He actually wasn't bad. Because I, I sparred with him a little bit friendly. He actually wasn't, he wasn't bad. He had a nice little dragon thing going on. 
and his wife was there too and he actually had me for a little bit but then what did i do i think i I think I just circled to the left, came around and trapped and just kept hitting them with the same thing. And I said, you know, it would really benefit you to take some lessons for some other people because you got some good stuff here. And now you could bang and explode and your stuff would be phenomenal. Oh, I want to be pure or something. And you know what? His wife said, I've been telling him the same thing. I've been telling him the same thing. He's off to a good start. And, you know, what can he pass on to other people? That's the beauty of before you come up with your own thing if you do haven't actually learned from some other people because when you learn from other people you learn how to teach by watching them teach that's the beauty of that so what are people going to learn from what's his name again vj what are people going to learn from vj jojo chocolate what is he passing on other than scamming people and lying nothing we're not really going to learn anything from this, but you manage to prove that an imperfect system is imperfect. Of course, it's imperfect because it was made by imperfect human beings. So therefore, it's going to be flawed. You know, in my religious beliefs, I don't believe that anybody is perfect but God. So any system designed by man is going to be imperfect. It's going to have flaws. Designed by man or designed by woman, designed by human beings, it's going to be flawed. So you're really not proving anything other than we don't live in a perfect world. You're also proving that you are insensitive and you're a bit of a jerk. And I don't like name calling. But that's really what you're doing. You're totally ignoring the... Uh, the plight that affirmative action is attempting to address. Oh, and it was uh, it was in the Young Turks take on this, where VJ they have a quote from VJ. He they don't have him saying it, but they have a quote from him where he's saying that he eventually found out that there was other things that he had to deal with when people thought that he was black. Well, I shouldn't say that he's black because he is black, really thought that he's African-American because he's darker than a lot of African-Americans. Because there was a twist at the end as to uh, what happened when he started pretending to be black. Mm -hmm. um, he said, not everything worked out as planned. Cops harassed me. Store clerks accused me of shoplifting. Women were either scared of me or couldn't keep their hands off me. What started, as, no a, one, no that's a, started as a devious ploy to gain admission to medical school turned into a twisted social experiment. So in the end of this experiment, he realized oh shit, there's real racism in the world. Mm -hmm. And it turns out if you're black, people are racist against you all the time. And hence why you might need affirmative action. Oops. He found out, you know, people had assumptions about his, uh, his approach to intimacy and he was being accused of things. Now just think about this before I go. Do you think that those type of social stresses would weigh on somebody enough so that they don't perform as well in school? Do you think that those type of things would weigh on a person so much that they may not even perform as well at work? So, if they lower grade standards for affirmative action, or any other standards, that is why. Because you're talking about a person that already has unfair pressures that would decrease performance. So they're gonna say, we're going to adjust for that. That's if they really do lower grades and, and other standards for affirmative action. That's why they would do it. They're trying to make it an even playing field. Unfortunately, this is the real world. And in the real world, you can't have truly equal outcomes because there are too many actual variables to control. But that's one good thing about the martial arts, though. If you want to get a black belt, you pretty much can do that. Like I said about three videos back, I think it was two or three videos back, which you put in, you get out. It's probably why I can do something with computer programming, too, because that's another thing where what you put in the program is what you get out. Input, output. Okay? 
Don't don't go around trying to pretend to be something you're not. When you do that, people think you're weird, just like they would think I was weird if I was pretending to be Asian to promote martial arts. And I'm not even going to go into any other stereotypes because it's going to make me look racist. Okay? Just don't be something that you're not, man. Just be yourself. And if you want to fight the good fight, fight the good fight. If you want to learn anything from martial arts, VJ, if you happen to see this, Taekwondo talks about integrity. Use that. And Judo talks about mutual welfare and benefit. Use that. Instead of lying. Peace.